Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I was able to get a working version of Luminar Neo, and in today's video, I'm going to show it to you. They're not calling this a beta version, they're calling it the media version. And they wanted me to mention that the workspace isn't finalized yet. So when it is released, it may look a little different than what you're seeing in this video. Also, it's not optimized yet for speed. Although I must say that my limited use of it so far on my iMac, it's running very, very fast. Also, I noticed some things are still missing. For example, I don't see layers yet, and it's going to have layers when it is released. I also noticed some things don't seem to be operating quite right, and they did mention that will be, you know, a factor with this media version, but when it is released, that will all be taken care of. Now, let's just look at it, first of all. Um, it's very similar to Luminar AI. You have a catalog like module and you have the edit module. I'm in the catalog module right now. You have the folders on the left, similar to Luminar AI. And uh, you have the images here in the middle. Um, I have this image here. You could see I favorited it. It has a little heart next to it. Over on the right-hand side, you have a dropdown. You could jump from the folders that are over here. You could just do it in the dropdown as well. You could sort them different ways. I have them sorted by capture time. The previews right now, I'm using large previews. You could change that to largest or maybe medium or small. I prefer large, at least right now. Um, also, you could export from here too. You click this little icon here and you could export it to a disk. Um, messages in my case, because I'm using a Mac, my Mac mail. And connect, which I think is going to be for the mobile uh, version that you'll be um, be tying into this. And I'll have more on that when that is actually released as well. Now, um, you noticed I favorited this one. You could just like hover over an image and click on the little heart and favorite them. You could click on the little heart again to remove that. You could double click on the image while you're in the catalog module. And at the bottom, you could reject it. Uh, you could also see a before after. This is an unedited image and you could zoom in. Right now I'm on fit to screen. When you're ready to edit an image, you just click on edit over here. And again, it looks very similar to Luminar AI. You have all the tools over here on the right hand side. Now for this image, I'm just going to do a very quick edit on it. And then I'm going to show you where some things are located because some of the tools are kind of nested into some other tools. Um, for this, I'm going to replace the sky. All right. Now, I don't have my favorite OccuDrone skies uh, loaded in here yet, but I will be loading those some days. Uh, someday. I, I mention OccuDrone a lot. Those are my kind of go-to uh, skies. Let me see if I can find something I like, though, with the built-in skies that come with Luminar Neo. Uh, da -da. I don't know. Don't like any of these. I guess I'm spoiled by my OccuDrone skies. All right, let's just go with that one because I'm wasting a lot of time. And we have the reflection in there and everything. Let's just keep it as is. And then what I'd probably do is I'd go up to the enhance and I just enhance it like this. Sky enhance a little bit. And let's just say that's enough for now. Now, as we look over on the right hand side at the very top, we have the crop AI. And um, with crop AI, you could um, ask it to come up with a crop that it, think, it thinks is fitting for this image by just clicking this button here. And you could see it's tightened it up quite a bit. Let's just say we accept that. Just close down the Crop AI tool. Um, below that, we have the Develop tool, which is your typical Develop tool. It starts out with Exposure, Smart Contrast, Highlights, and Shadows. We have Blacks and Whites, Curves. See how these are all nested together? Uh, color, so you could adjust white balance here and saturation and vibrance. Sharpness, noise reduction, um, optics auto-correct and auto-defringe. And you could manually correct as well if you find the need to do that. Uh, below that we have the enhance, I just used that. Below that we have the erase tool. 
Within the Erase tool are nested two of the new tools that are found in Luminar Neo that aren't in Luminar AI, and that is Remove Power Lines and Remove Dust Spots. So they're inside the Erase tool. So you can find those there. Structure, a lot of this is going to be the same. That's Structure AI, I should say. And this is uh, just color, so you have Saturation vibrance, vibrance. Remove Color Cast, of course, this is repeated. That was found up there earlier. And we have the HSL panel below it. Below that, we have black and white. So if you want to convert it to black and white and adjust your black and white mix, you would do that here. Uh, details, so you could add small details, medium details. None of that changed. And also nested in there are details masking and sharpening masking. Denoise, and in there, there's some advanced settings there as well. Uh, landscape, so you could add like dehaze, kind of really add a lot more contrast, make it more of a golden hour look. With that and if there were foliage here you could enhance foliage although I don't like moving that slider that seems to make the foliage um, a little bit too intense in my opinion um, we have a vignette and we have more advanced settings for the vignette there as well then we have the creative uh, settings we have relight AI uh, this is new uh, in this so you could relight the image with that we have um, the sky adjustment that I just did. Atmosphere adjustments, you could add fog, layered fog, mist, and haze. That, of course, is in Luminar AI. Sun rays, that's been in Luminar 4. And, and on, the dramatic, if you want to give it this kind of over-the-top HDR look, you could do that as well. Mood, these are LUTs. Uh, comes in with some built-in LUTs that you could add. Uh, so you could add like kind of a, a look to the image there. Uh, toning, this is a typical like split toning for the shadows and highlights a matte look so if you want to give it kind of a matte kind of look like a film look you could do that as well mystical is just kind of a you know a kind of a glow i guess kind of look below that is glow with some advanced settings there don't forget those if you want to add film grain you could do that as well portrait tools it still has those as was in luminar ai and that it has uh, the face, skin, body, has the high key look. It has portrait bokeh. This is when you have a person in it and you could blur the background behind them. It's really not true bokeh like you would get from a lens. It's just blur, but it is there and you could use it. Um, and then below that we have a couple professional tools. Um, super contrast and color harmony. And within color harmony are color contrast split color warmth and color balance. So most of these tools are in Luminar AI. And um, so there's not much difference there, but it does have those added tools like to remove power lines, automatically remove dust spots, uh, do the portrait bokeh and um, relight, I believe is new. Correct me on wrong. I kind of everything runs together because I do so many videos on so many different uh, types of software, but I think relight AI is new for this version as well in the next release of this the so this will be like luminar neo 1.0 you'll should see all these tools in luminar neo 1.1 they're supposed to have mask ai included with that and a couple other tools as well um, and that will be a free upgrade if you purchase luminar neo 1.0 you'll have a free upgrade to luminar neo 1.1 so that's just a quick kind of overview of Luminar Neo. Um, let me know in the comments below where you'd like me to go with this. What do you want me to demonstrate? Since I have this, quote, media version, I'm more than happy to try to demo stuff with it. And if there's anything you specifically want me to demo, let me know. And I'll see if I could do a video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>